Hey everybody, Tony Denise here. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. This channel is about thriving in your 50s, 60s, and beyond. And today we're gonna take a look at doing something or not doing something that can help you thrive. Um, that'll make sense in a minute. But first of all, to thank you for stopping by if this is your first time here um, there's several other videos that you may like please check those out and like and subscribe and share this uh, my channel with other people you think might benefit from this content well yeah I'm gonna get right into it um, this is gonna be kind of a short video uh, I have a few things to say and I'll probably no, I am gonna be looking at my notes because Y'all know that I forget sometimes, so just bear with me. All right, so uh, Margaret Manning's channel is called 60 and Me. It's an excellent channel. They have a lot of content for uh, women of a particular age, right? And um, she has a lot of good content. She's been around for uh, years and has a huge, huge um, following. So... Um, she had a, has a video out there that talks about five things that women over 60 should stop doing. And so I will, she offers you to add into that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to suggest two things that I think we should stop doing. But I'm also going to put a spin on it and put two things that I think we should start doing. Okay? So here we go. All right, the first thing that I think that women over 50, 60, or beyond should stop doing is to stop thinking you have to have it all figured out. Because you don't have it all figured out and you're not gonna be able to have it all figured out. Just do a little bit at a time. For example, when I was going to move here to Mexico, I decided I was coming but once I decided I was coming, it became overwhelming because I just, it was like a forever trip. So in my mind, I was like, I got to plan everything out for days, weeks, and months on end. And then my daughter-in-law, she talked to me one day in the kitchen and she said, you know what? You don't have to have everything, you know, all these weeks and months planned out. She said, just start with maybe two weeks or maybe a month. And that was like an aha moment for me because I realized that, you know, I can do that. I can manage a month or a week. You know, I could do that. And so it made me to be able to start to plan my trip and how I was going to do that. I, I just could, it was in, it was manageable. It was in bite-sized pieces. So whatever task that you have, whatever you're thinking about doing, don't think you have to have it all together. There's a quote, um, I don't know who says it, but it talks about, um, it says, you know, you don't have to see the whole staircase, just the next step. So I wanna encourage somebody out there right now that's overwhelmed with thinking that you have to have everything all figured out. And you know what? Sometimes questions that people will ask us will give us that pressure too that we have to have everything. They'll ask us all these questions and maybe we don't have the answers yet. And that's okay. You know, just tell them you don't have that figured out yet. And don't don't get bogged down into somebody else's questions and all their rabbit hole things that they'll take you on, okay? Just know that you don't have to have it all figured out. Okay, the next thing I think we should stop doing when we're in our 50s or 60s and beyond is to stop thinking that everything is reserved for the young. I mean, who said you couldn't start taking piano lessons at whatever age you're at now? I have a friend, um, actually my son teaches her piano and she started when she was 50 something. She's been playing for about three years. She knows how to play the piano now. It's not too late, but we tell ourselves that is too late because, you know, we see how society treats us sometimes that, you know, um, 
they kind of push us out sometime. I get that. But we're the ones that are going to have to push back and start letting them know that, you know, we have life left in us. We have plenty of life. We have experience and plus we've got a lot of life ahead. So don't uh, stop thinking about whatever dreams you have. Figure out how you could could um, do your dream now, even if it's something that you wanted to do when you were younger, you know, and maybe you can't do exactly that thing, well, figure out how to do, you know, a part of that, you know, but just don't write it off. Find out a way where you can still do whatever it is you want to do. Don't think that you can't do it just because you're a certain age. Now, I think a lot of, a lot of this is, is, has to do with our minds and our mindsets. And it's very, that's, that's what we have to overcome. Because if we can get the mental blocks out that I'm too old or, you know, I'm too fat or, I, you know, I need to fix something within myself before I can do something, y'all, you're just going to be stuck. You know, trust yourself enough to do whatever it is you want to do. Who said you had to be 18 to start college? People go back to college late in life and they get their degrees in their 90s. Look it up on YouTube or Google. There's people, you'll find articles where people finish their degrees late in life. We just have to get out of telling us what, you know, what we can't do. You know, there's no rule written anywhere that says you can't do X, Y, Z. So at least try to do whatever it is you want, whether it's to start a business, whether it's to learn a new skill, whether it's to go back to school, whatever it is, don't write, your, write it off because you think you're too old. That's sh sh shortchanging yourself. And I heard this many years ago, maybe you have too. Time is gonna pass anyway. So five years could go by now and you could not learn how to play piano or five years could go by and you can learn how to play the piano, for example, or whatever it is you want to do. So I'm encouraging you to don't write off yourself because you think you're too old. Stop telling yourself that. Okay, now here comes the front part. And that is two things that I think you should start doing to begin thriving. You ready for the first one? That was my drum roll. The first thing is try something new. You'd be surprised how confident you feel and how that just kind of gets your brain going. It just feels good to try something new. You'll be proud of yourself. For example, it doesn't have to be anything deep. Just for example, sometimes my goal will be, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'm gonna do my best to not buy the same things, to pick up a different food, you know, a different ethnicity food, um, something different, something that I don't normally do. Sometimes I'm successful at it, sometimes I'm not. But at least I'm trying to do that, okay? Trying something different. Go someplace that you haven't been to before. Every day, you can try to do something different, right? In your city, um, there's probably a lot of places that you haven't discovered. You know, make it a plan to go visit someplace in your city that you've never been before. You know, life and uh, is full of different little, I call them mini adventures that we can have, but we gotta seek them out. But we, we get so used to our routines but I'm challenging you, try something different, something new, you know, make a plan of doing maybe something new once a week, you know, maybe try and doing something, I think a month, you know, you figure out how long it's going to be, but the more you do more new things that builds confidence and you can, you, you know, you just see, you see more things around you, you experience more things. So I think it's very valuable for us to try new things because we can get set in our ways very easily. We can get comfortable. Even though I moved to Mexico, I get here and 
I can get comfortable. I can kind of do the same things, get comfortable in the safety of my, my apartment and my little neighborhood, but that's not why I came here. I came to explore. So I have to push myself sometimes too to get out and explore, to try new things. So that's the thing that we need to start doing is to try new things. Do something different. Go someplace you've never been, all right? Challenge yourself. That's my challenge to, to you. And in the comments, come back and let me know what you did. Let me know some of the things if you've done to, to uh, do something different, okay? I wanna hear about that. And then this next one is one of my favorites. You'll probably hear me talk about this on this channel because it always needs to be talked about because we forget it. And that is what I want you to do is to start giving yourself permission. Give yourself permission. You know, you, we, we walk around like we got to ask everybody for everything. Come on, we're in our 50s, 60s. We've raised children, husbands. We've, you know, been leaders in corporations. Why do you need to ask permission for anybody? Maybe the person you need to uh, get permission from is from yourself. Give yourself permission. Remember when we were in school and we went on field trips? and you had to have a permission slip. Your parents had to sign a permission slip before you could go on the field trip. Well, write that permission slip out, even if you have to do a real permission slip to yourself. I put your name in the blank, give myself permission to X, Y, Z. Give myself permission to dream. Give myself permission to travel. Give myself permission to rest. Give yourself permission. Example? Okay, look at this. Yeah, I gave myself permission to wear this today. You know what it says? Queens are born in June 10th. That's my birthday. It's October. It is October. But I gave myself to wear my pretty pink shirt and my pretty earrings. You know, why not? Why not? Okay? Give yourself permission to live. You know, you're probably thinking, you know, I've got to take care of this. What are people going to think? What are all this stuff that's in your head? No. Do yourself a favor and give yourself permission. You know, don't worry about what anybody else thinks. Worry about what you think. Okay? And you're going to feel so much freer when you give yourself permission to try new things, to go places you've never been before, to do something you've never done before, but you gotta give yourself permission to do it. You know, don't let guilt talk you out of it. Don't let thinking you're not good enough talk you out of it. You're valuable. You're worth whatever you wanna do, okay? You are worth whatever you want to do and try and be and see. So do and try and be and see it. Now, I'm not gonna say try. A friend of mine says, get the try out of your vocabulary. Do it, okay? So those are a few things that I wanted to share that I think we should stop doing. Um, stop doing and then uh, two things that we should start doing. So I hope that you will um, are able to do these things. I hope you can share them with other people to do. I think they will uh, be beneficial to you. I, I think they'll get you in the mindset to thrive more in your life. So just to wrap up, stop thinking that you should have it all figured out. Stop thinking that everything is reserved for youth. And what you should start doing is to start do something new, try something different. And my favorite is give yourself permission to try those new things, to do those new things. So, so I hope you can uh, take those and, you know, put in the comments what you think we should stop doing and what we should start doing to be thriving in life, to rise up and bloom in our lives, okay? All right. 
So thanks for spending these few minutes with me. Again, you can um, like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, you can reach me uh, on Instagram at Miss Tony Denise. And I don't even know if I've said this before, but I also offer, offer um, coaching if you're interested in moving abroad or specifically moving to Mexico. Um, I've done that process. I've moved to Mexico and then I've moved since I've been in Mexico. So there's probably some things that I could help coach you on. So that's down below as well. And did I tell you I sing too and I give vocal coaching? So I kind of do a few things. So if you, if you need that too, I'm, I'm here for it. So uh, anyways, on that note, um, thank you for watching Rise Up and Bloom, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.